so here we are. We're at the end of December. It's, uh, well, I think tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so it's December 30th right now. Had a pretty good Christmas for what it was. It was uh, I was at work over Christmas, so um, the six days uh, or five days um, over Christmas I was at work. Just got off uh, shift there two days ago. No, yesterday is my first day off. So back out to the cabin um, for, to make more content. Uh, we got a little bit of snow. There's probably three inches of snow here that uh, I had to come and I spent quite a bit of time clearing. Um, I equate snow to the same as um, splitting firewood. Um, I enjoy it. It's uh, it's one of those tasks, you know, almost never ending. Um, but I enjoy I enjoy shoveling the snow and starting the task and completing it and it's just something satisfying about it kind of like uh, splitting firewood so um, yeah it just keeps the guy busy and after you're done you can sit down and relax and kind of enjoy uh, enjoy the fruit of your labors so uh, the work I did here it's uh, looks uh, well to me it looks really good like it's easy to walk in and uh, I don't know I just, I just enjoy it just like burning firewood I enjoy burning firewood too but today here it's uh it's pretty mild compared to what it was, what it was. Uh, i think we're at minus 10. um the last time i was here we were in minus 30. um after that like over a few days past that uh, i think it even dripped, dipped down to the minus 40s i think we were minus 40 yeah we were definitely minus 40. And then it warmed up into the minus 30s consistent minus 30s for a couple days there part of that polar, polar vortex system that kind of gripped north america but now it seems uh, we're out of it, so back to kind of seasonal type temperatures. We're supposed to get down into the minus teens tonight. So kind of looking forward to that, minus 15 or something. So we'll prepare for that. Um, right now I'm just letting the cabin heat up outside enjoying the uh, the campfire. I'm getting a good bed of coals ready for, for supper. I'll be doing uh, a nice uh, New York strip steak tonight for supper with uh, some vegetables and sauteed mushrooms and onions. It'll be really good. First time I've uh, used the grill. Yeah, first time I've used the grill out here this year. Um, the other other meals are all Dutch oven Dutch oven meals. So, and it's kind of fitting. It's it's mild enough out. A guy can sit out here and grill, and uh, enjoy the enjoy the atmosphere. Not too cold, but just cold enough. <laughs> Now, oh, well, my water for my hot chocolate is heating up. I'll get this steak ready. Season it up real nice here. Perfect. 
There's nothing like hot chocolate around a nice hot campfire. Nice cold day. Reminds me of when I was a kid. We'd be playing outside for hours in, uh, in weather like this. And, uh, you know, sometimes Dad would uh, start up a fire in the backyard and, you know, we'd gather around and have some hot chocolate. I tell you, days like that. By the time I hit the bed, I was out before my head even hit the pillow. Very enjoyable, very memorable. Okay, yeah, let's so start doing these vegetables up. Start out with some carrot. Potato. Just be boiling these up tonight. I'm also going to saute them up some onions and mushrooms. Go along with the steak. Kind of nice having this burner. Be able to do some cooking outside. Saute okay, these onions and mushrooms up. Should smell good. Let that cook up. And potatoes and uh, carrots just about done. Sauteed mushrooms and onions and garlic are done. Just left them on uh, in the cast iron pan covered. Keep the heat in. Wait for the steak to finish up here, and by that time the vegetables should be done. That looks Try a piece of the steak here. Mm. That is so good. Mm. 
top notch. I don't know that it can get any better than this. There's something about sitting outside by an open campfire with a hot meal on a cold day. Mmm. Steak is perfect. Yeah, that grill, it, uh, it works pretty good for what it is. Supper's finished, the majority of the dishes are, are cleaned up. I just have uh, a few things to put away in the cabin. But I thought I'd come out and enjoy some of the evening around the campfire. It's a lovely night for it. I think we're still hovering around minus 10. And this, this uh, fire pit's throwing off a lot of heat. So sit outside, enjoy the quiet and uh, the nice coolness. While the sun goes down, it's getting darker by the second. Like I'm, Amazed how much it got dark in the past five minutes, but I mean, it's still it's still pretty bright. The um, the fire's throwing off uh, quite a bit of light. It's reflecting off the snow. It's quite pretty. Take advantage of uh, take advantage of this while I can, because I'm pretty sure we'll be uh, back in the deep freeze at some point. Well, another great day out in Tiny Cabin. Wasn't uh, wasn't a cold one like it was before. Uh, nice and pleasant, warm. Er, it was still minus 10 out, but uh, it was uh, compared to the uh, last time I was out minus 30. It was uh, considerably warmer. It was very balmy. I was just out in uh, a hoodie for most of the day. Um, I did put my jacket on uh, closer to the end, to the end uh, when the sun went down uh, for dinner and stuff like that. But uh, but uh, other than that, it was very pleasant though. Had a little bit of snow coming down earlier on in the afternoon, but then it tapered off. And I think uh, I think the weather's actually calling for heavy fog, which will be kind of interesting to, to wake up to in the morning if it's around. Anyway, uh, hanging around hanging around camp today, I uh, got to thinking, it's like 2022 is coming to an end. 2023 is coming upon us here in the next couple of days, and it got me thinking uh, about projects for for next spring slash summer and uh, I've got a few of them a few months ago I started making a list and I'm kinda looking forward to it and that kinda got me into the the um, the work mode so I gotta think of, think of some things to do I can do in the meantime just to keep myself busy while I'm out here um, enjoying enjoying the winter time so kinda limited on what I can do just cause of the snow and stuff like that so um, I'm probably gonna start collecting collecting some firewood Start logging, uh, cutting on some trees and uh, making rounds and start splitting. Get them started season. Won't go too too heavy under that, but it'd be nice to come out and just uh, uh, buck up some some rounds and do some firewood splitting. Just because I enjoy it so much. Today it was mostly just uh, snow clearing and uh, getting camp ready. Again, it wasn't wasn't super cold out, so. Um, I wasn't too worried about getting the fire started too quickly. It didn't take long for the cabin to uh, warm up, not as long as or as long a time as it took last time. Um, and then the the uh, the outside outside fire pit was was going as well. So overall overall day was very enjoyable. Uh, shoveling the snow, I like doing that too. So, but uh, yeah, next time I come out, I'm probably gonna start. To, um, doing some projects. I got to uh, do some maintenance. The chimney's probably due to get cleaned out. So I got to pull that down and uh, get a brush in there and clean out all the soot. Uh, I noticed there was a bit of a buildup on the um, the uh, fire suppressor. 
spark spark uh, suppressor on the end of the chimney there so we'll get that cleaned out and then I'm gonna probably clean out uh, the uh, hot wood heater as well let's get the uh, shovel in there and shovel up some of the old ashes although the ashes do seem to be kind of taking care of them there's not a big pile of them in there they're just burning up so but we'll give it a good clean I haven't cleaned it yet um, yeah next year's projects I got uh, a few ideas um, it's going to require some some new tools um, planning for a bigger tool here um, come spring I'll leave that uh, for the projects project season the one that comes in um, it'll it'll help out a lot with with uh, what I want to do as far as project goes um, with the property here um, try and get a little bit more ambitious than uh, the firewood shed I did last summer um, as far as improvements although I am so grateful that I built that because it's helped me out with with my wood supply for uh, for the winter I know it's safe and secure and dry although I did notice the back um, peak part um, where the roof is I, I'm gonna have to kind of close that in because we got snow snow blowing in whenever the snowstorms come it's blowing in through the back and kind of covering the top and it's not uh, you know creating any harm or anything that that's just more of an annoyance so I'll just rectify that and get it uh, get it plugged up so uh, I don't have to worry about that or at least slatted anyway so it doesn't come in as, as easily but yeah so projects uh, this year was the firewood shed I wanted to get uh, some uh, skid steer in here and get some leveling done but I couldn't get that done because um, I was uh, looking to rent rent a skid steer and whenever I went to go or had time to uh, to do that with work and stuff like that it was always they are their skid steers were always rented out seemed to be a lot of uh, demand for the skid steers this year with uh, other people so I'll have to wait till next spring to get the skid steer in and I'll uh, I'll uh, put my gravel down that I had there from a couple years ago kind of start building building the road in there's also a couple of trees uh, on the property that I want to I want to knock down there they're kind of look like they're dying look like they're dying and they got a weird lean to them so I'd rather rather take them down in a controlled manner than just have them come crashing down um, yeah so we'll do that and then try to utilize the logs for for something something other than firewood the poplars I don't mind bucking up but there's a couple spruce that I'd like to knock down a couple big spruce that I'd like to knock down and uh, potentially use that for lumber or something Anyway, that was uh, that was the day in a nutshell, more or less just coming out and shoveling and lighting fires and cooking dinner and just relaxing, which is uh, always good. Although I did got start getting start thinking about projects and stuff like that, so it got me in a bit of a work mode. So, like I said, I'll just have to come out and fire my chainsaw and do some stuff. I got some maintenance to do with the hotwood heater here, and then uh, that should scratch that itch for a little while. Just enjoy enjoy the winter. Got quite a bit of snow so far this year. I think we're well over a foot, maybe a foot and a half total now. So it's starting to accumulate. Like I said in previous episodes, uh, January and February are generally when we get most of our snow in this area. So we still got two months, two months of snow. And March is it can it can snow pretty good in March too. So we still got three months, three months of uh, good good winter conditions to look forward to. I'm expecting a few more cold spells over the past few years. We've been hitting that minus 40 mark quite regularly over the winter. So um, I remember back in the uh, early 2000s, um, there was a couple couple years in the early 2000s. We barely hit minus 30 a couple times, and even up till the end of November, it was like in the teens with no snow. It was like really weird. Uh, I think for the first four or five years in the 2000s, it was it was like there was barely any snow usually during the year during the winter so yeah this uh all well, last year was was crazy with the amount of snow we had over four feet of snow here which is not typical but um i think we're this year we're gonna have uh we're gonna have quite a bit of snow as well um if january and february you know, pan out to what they traditionally are anyway i've been rambling on here enough about uh stuff and things so i think i'm gonna throw on another movie tonight Movie tonight is Big Trouble in Little China, and just kick back and relax and uh, go to bed. So, uh, with that said, I'll see you in the morning.
my absolute favorite. It's like a treat every time I come out. I look forward to it when I go to bed, having my porridge in the morning. Mm. It was another fantastic night last night. I slept hard. Got up my usual couple times during the night just to ensure the uh, fire was had a bed of coals in it, and uh, it was all good. Slept hard. Um, just, I feel so refreshed. It feels like uh, I didn't even get up um, in, the, in the night to to stoke the fire. I uh, I ended up picking up one of my uh, a pillow from my merch store. And uh, man, what a difference that made! It was so comfortable. I uh, woke up around 6:30. I was kind of laid there for about 45 minutes, just watching the light. Lit the candles, just watched the light. Enjoyed the ambiance of the cabin, and uh, just enjoyed it. It was so cozy in there. I didn't feel like getting up, but I had a craving for coffee, and I'm starting to get hungry. Mmm, so good. Well, it's a gorgeous morning out this morning. We're sitting about minus 12, and it looks like the, the sun is peeking over the horizon, and the sky looks wonderful. It's just beautiful out right now. Snow's still on the trees. We haven't got to that time of year where uh, the snow, is, snow falls off the trees and it just kind of looks blah. It's still looking really nice out. So uh, it's, it's New Year's Eve today and I can't think of a better place to be than out at the tiny cabin. Um, I won't be here for most of the day. I'll be heading out here back to town here shortly just cleaning up after what well, was an excellent night at the cabin. Temperatures were were pretty mild compared to what they were, which is good. I didn't have to worry about uh, the uh, fire the uh, fire heater too much. I think the temperature got down to plus 10 at the coldest last night, so I was on top of uh, on top of the heater all night. So woke up my couple times, stoked the fire, everything was good. Slept in as usual. It was so comfortable. I didn't want to get out of bed. It was so comfort comfortable and cozy. But, hunger and a coffee was in order. Yeah. Wow, is it ever nice out right now? I'm actually pretty excited about this. <laughs> so pretty, and you can hear the squirrels and birds chirping. It's nice. Anyway, I think that'll do that for this episode. Again, I didn't get much done uh, as far as chores around uh, the tiny cabin this trip which is fine just enjoying enjoying being out here I am getting a little bit uh, antsy about getting some stuff done I'm limited to what I can do with the snow so I think I'll just do some uh, maintenance with the, the firewood stove and chimney and maybe find up uh, a couple trees that can fall and buck up for firewood start uh, getting uh, a firewood supply ready for for next season start falling it now and getting it bucked up and by the time next winter comes around it should be nice and nice and dry Anyway, um, I think I got enough in there for the winter. I've got more than enough, but it's always, always nice to have, you know, a stockpile more. I got a whole pile of uh, poplars around here. I still got a process for the outdoor fire pit, firewood. So I could do that as well. Just uh, time to start doing some work. 2023 is here. So I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who uh, has been tuning in and commenting, subscribing to the channel. The channel has grown quite a bit over the past few months. Uh, even compared to last year, I think we're we're well over 4,000 new subs. So thank you for that. I've uh, added a, a button below the uh, screen there. It's a super thanks. If you want to carry or continue to so support the channel, um, you can make a donation. I've got a bunch of projects coming up uh, this year. I'm going to be saving up for some new tools and stuff like that. So uh, that those donations would go towards that uh, new chainsaw and stuff like that. Um, another way to support the channel is I've got uh, a merch line, the Bushketeer store. If 
you want to click on that you can get uh, hoodies and uh, the pillow I had and mugs and travelers and all sorts of good stuff like that and finally uh, I'll be uh, um, listing the tools that I, I use um, links in the bottom in the bottom description if uh, you're interested in those too I've had a few people comment about uh, you know um, <clears throat> wanting uh, links to some of the stuff that I have on the channel so I, uh, I put links on there for an Amazon Amazon link for those products if you're interested in in uh, acquiring that uh, I'll get a bit of a commission from that too from Amazon um, but I think that's it for for now I'd like to uh, thank you again for tuning in and commenting and stuff like that and till uh, till next time we'll talk to you later <laughs>